Do you have news of our quarry? You have? Where? Tell me now. Money, if that is what you wish. Now tell me where she is. We cannot go after her. Not without drawing attention. You must bring her to us. Lead her to the Whiterun stables, outside of the city. We will wait for you there. She cannot hide from us forever. Oh. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Take a look. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor and such power? Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. Honest pay for honest work. All right, then. You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. He says he needs me to stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you could change his mind. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. have news of our quarry. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Do you have news of our I quarry? only take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he all right? But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. You would give your own coin to help my son? I'm moved by your compassion. 
Your kind deed will not go unrewarded, my friend. Tell Eric I've changed my mind and will visit White Run soon to fit him for armor. If you... Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but Juan's the one who deals with people. I'm afraid I lost my charm years ago. All right, then. No offense intended, but I don't think we have anything to talk about. Not yet, anyway, though it certainly could. With most of the Hold's fighting men committed to the war, there are fewer swords to keep the road safe from brigands and wild beasts. And of course, as the war drags on and supplies run low, our ample fields and stores of food will make a tempting target for desperate men. The best we can hope for, a swift end to the conflict. The longer the war goes on, the worse it will be for all of us, I'm afraid. Yes, that's right. Look around you. Most of the lands you see are mine. Most of this I purchased while my comrades were fighting in the south, helping the Empire against the Aldmeri Dominion. Back then, nothing would grow here, and so the land was worthless. Now, thanks to the hard work and the gods' blessings, our farms prosper. Aye, that I did. I commanded a force of several dozen men, most of them levies from villages in the part of the hold. I damn near met my end in that war. An old Mary soldier ran me through with his blade and left me for dead. A healer named Joanne saved my life. He's been my closest friend ever since. I tell you, that man is a miracle worker. Uh, until next time. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Are you feeling ill? I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. I'd better get going. If you're peace, Prosperity are all the good folk of Rorikstead want in life. Secret? What makes you think there's a secret? There are no secrets here, my curious friend. Our prosperity is simply the result of hard work, good fortune, and the blessings of the gods. Have you met Rorik? He owns these lands, and it's from him that our village gets its name. We've been friends for many years now. Rorik fought for the Empire in the Great War. He was gravely wounded, and so was brought before me. I was a healer then, you see. We were as close as kinsmen, and when Rorik returned home, I came with him. I am happy to spend my twilight years here with my good friend. How can we? We're a community of farmers, not fighting men. If not for the war, we might have enough guards in the hold to protect the settlements. That the dragons should return now is most unfortunate. Take care now. Did you see those guards? Get out of line and you'll have them to deal with. Do I detect a bit of jealousy in your tone? I would hardly blame you. What calling could be more noble than this? I see in your eyes that you think I jest. I assure you I don't. I am proud, and rightfully so, of the work we do here. Working the soil with your hands, seeing your seeds take root and grow, tending a herd. There is a joy in honest labor you won't find elsewhere. All right then. You talked to Raldith yet? She's like a mother to me. Have you given my idea any more thought? You said you'd let me know yesterday, and that obviously didn't happen.
Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Don't you walk away from me! Never should have come here! Is that your best? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? I don't have to take that from you. <laughs> Maik wishes you well. Why do soldiers bother with target practice? One learns best by hitting real people. Maik has heard the people of Skyrim are better looking than the ones in Cyrodiil. 
He has no opinion on the matter. All people are beautiful to him. I'd stay away if I were you. I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. The cow, of course. Others do it differently. But I found that an annual offering usually keeps the giants away from our livestock. Some think it's superstition, but I believe it works. I've yet to have a giant kill any of my livestock. It's tradition. We mark the animal as a way to let the giants know we're giving it to them willingly. Sort of a peace offering. I have everything under control. Thanks for offering. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. I worry about the other settlements in the hold. Unwalled, lightly manned. 